Um, growing up, I I have I've got my between my mom and dad. Right, my dad got um, four girls before he met my mom, and my mom had two kids before she met my dad. But between them both, between the both of them, she had um, four boys and one girl. Four boys from a mom, between my mom and dad and one girl. That's me. Okay. So, you know, my siblings, you know, my siblings, we, we were always told to support each other. I went to Jordan Plain Primary School. I went to Froome Technical High School. And then I went to Kingston to study. But I was a teenage mother of two boys. Was bad. No, I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't bad. I was a church girl, but you know, like, you know, you get influenced by your friends and things happen. And, and after, after having my two kids, uh, my brother decided, uh-uh, my deceased big brother, that is, he decided, uh-uh, I won't have it. You need education is the key and it's very important. So he came and he took me to Kingston and I... Do you know mind that option, or how old were you when you get pregnant the first time? I was very young. Suppose I leave it at this, sir. I was very, very young. I was a very, very young teenager. Listeners, <laughs> you determine that. <laughs> right? Very, very young. Things happen. It's life. Okay, so what was life like, as I say, versus it? What was life like coming to the UK? Was it shocking? Was it... Yes, it was shocking. I'm not going to lie. Um, when the plane lands and I saw all these smoke coming out of this place. I thought it's factories. So I said to my brother, yeah, I said to my brother, it's, this is a, we're in the wrong direction. The plane land, wrong, um, land, landed at the wrong place because this is factory. But he explained to me that those are tri tribnies, chimneys with smoke coming out of people's houses. Yeah. All right. You are the CEO of, of Miles Ed Entertainment. Tell mm -hmm. us what you, what's your entertainment industry is about? Okay, it's about music. At the crowning of Rory from Stone Love in London here. Mm -hmm. We had the crowning of the boogeyman Barry G. We had the crowning of Josie Whale. We had Richie Steven as we keep, Mighty Crown is the first year just before the pandemic. Um, we, cause we can, I consider myself a team. We haven't brought um, Mighty Crown to the UK. He's an African. He's based in Zimbabwe, Coco Beats. Big up yourself if you're watching this. And um, I bought three rhythm from him. And I start sending it around now because I still get in like advice, you know, like from producers, people in the music, because I've never produced before. So now I want to know what next. Pick up the phone, yes, yeah? send it to artists. The first artist I sent the rhythm to was Liquor Lenny. Wow. And then Liquor Kirk. Mm -hmm. The first single of the album is by Liquor Lenny and Liquor Kirk, mm -hmm. as you say, mm -hmm. named Same Wine. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that link up with Liquor Lenny because he was retired for almost two decades. <laughs> for you to take him out of retirement and, and even shoot a video with him. Okay, I'm going to tell you that I was excited, to be quite honest, because when I sent the... All right, this is how I get to link up with Liquor Lenny. My brother, Shined, was putting on an event in the UK here, and both my team and other team and other people in the music fraternity, mm -hmm. they call me the human directory. So now my brother wants to book Lenny and Kirk and his show. It was supposed to be um, a big, a huge event in the park, you know, a reggae thing. Mm -hmm. And my brother called me and said, um, can you get me Lenny number? And I think they always do that because they know I know how to get you people's know, number. All right. To pull little Lenny, Oh, it's, it's a nice song. I like the video, I like the way it shoot, I like the message behind it. And which man won't like that message? Which I know, and that song was shoot by the famous Nadia Rose. It's, yeah, she's a, she's a good director, yeah. and I, I love it. But what I'm saying, um, that video is out for like a month now. Yes. And it only has 559 view. So do you think, wait, do you think that Little Lenny take too long to connect back with his fans? With his core fans, 
Or he, and he tried to chop into a in a new market with a new sound. Mm -hmm. And his audience is in their 50s, but he's trying to appeal to a younger generation. Do you think that is a little bit... No, that, that is not the case. I think what happened, we're living in the UK here. The artists, they're living in Jamaica. I'm just going by the... I'm just yes, going by the, the views, it's the, true. The stats. Yes. The artists are living in Jamaica. However, if it wasn't for the curfew in Jamaica, the artists, they would get more time to, oh, okay, to do promote their, the song and to do shows, etc. If I should compare it to a Skilly Bang, if they put out a, if they put out a, 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 a single today... Mm -hmm. By tomorrow. By tomorrow, you will see um, 300,000 views or... Yes, that is true, but... So